Hello Libra and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. Today I'll be doing the big energies for the month of June 2023. So yes, we are starting a new month and let's ha have a look what is in store for you. What is it that you need to know? What are your spirits trying to communicate with you? So for those who are new, my name is Gigi and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me and I'm super excited to do your reading. So Libra, let's cut the cards to get the overall energies. And the card is, we have the Queen of Cups here. Beautiful. Now, the Queen of Cups is someone that looks after their foundation, their nurturer. It could be also a fam family, a motherly figure, but they are also a nurturer. So what does this also mean? If you are not a mother, regardless, or a nurse, this is the best time to nurture yourself in the month of June. There's a, it's a perfect time to look after yourself, look after your anxiety, look after your stress levels and take some time to really, really pamper yourself. Take that time. Take the weekend for you, Libra. I think you've earned it and you really very well deserve it. But let's get started with your reading. One more shuffle. Okay, Libra, let's look at your current situation here. Current situation, we have, okay, the seven of wands here. Now, look closely at this image. You can see this person, what are they doing? Defending their kingdom. So, Libra, is there some sort of situation where you need to start being more assertive? You need to start using your voice and standing up for yourself? You may be getting challenged by maybe family members, extended family, friends, co-workers. Literally, this can be anyone, but it's good to stand up for yourself. Start being assertive. You may need to also stand up to your thoughts. Maybe your thoughts are your own thoughts are challenging you, telling you that, no, nope, Libra, you can't do it. Forget it. No, 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 no. Protect what you love. Protect your passions and protect everything that you absolutely love and cherish. Libra. And again, this just could be simple as people challenging you, challenging, no, no, you can't do that. You're doing a terrible job, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. Be assertive, Libra, and use your voice. Any challenges we also have here? The Knight of Pentacles here. Now, I've, okay, this is the slowest moving night, but something that seemed too good to be true wasn't. Hmm. Because usually the Knight of Pentacles brings a solid offer, but this wasn't really a solid offer. This was something that um, probably wasn't the best offer for you. Probably a promotion, but you're having second thoughts about it. You're having doubts about this particular offer. And again, this could be being promoted to a job, but what can that lead to? Yes, it's a good offer, but maybe that means more responsibilities, more stress, no time for you. Um, this is highly linked to the Queen of Cups, looking after yourself. So in other words, if an offer does come your way, ask yourself, is it really worth it? Am I really going to enjoy it? Am I going to have to sacrifice more hours, more of me now? Mm. So just be careful, Libra. Whatever offers that seem too good to be true, just ask yourself, is it really worth it? Am I really going to be happy with this offer? Now, in the immediate past, we have, okay, the Eight of Cups here. Now, in the past, you have currently walked away from situations that no longer serve you. You've walked away from situations that were, that were inspiring before, but now it's just mundane. It's boring. It's just a routine. doesn't inspire you. But you are going on an adventure here. You've decided to really step up. Take that courage to walk away. Now, what have you walked away from? This could be from a job that you've currently worked or walked away from. Could be family, could be friends, situations that no longer serve you. Toxic people. Just, yeah, you've decided to actually have the courage to walk away. Even your spirit team are forcing you to walk away. It could be also a relationship that no longer serves you because there is something better, better waiting for you. If you look closely at the picture... He's got his back turned, but where is he walking? He's walking towards the sun. He's walking towards something better, happiness. 
something much there's something better waiting for you libra so if you haven't done this done this yet most likely you will be doing this in some time very soon the foundation has also been confirmed with the ten of pentacles here you have you definitely have money on your mind libra you want to save for a rainy day you want to save long term and you want to be you want to have a strong foundation here this is very disciplined thinking. I like the way you think, Libra. You like to have also balance. So in other words, if you want to save up for that vacation, you want to save up for that dream home, you are definitely going to do it. You are definitely thinking very long term here. You're being very disciplined and very structured here. It's fantastic. This is all having it all. Having money to share, money to give, money for everything, Libra. With your thoughts, we have here, yep, the Four of Pentacles here. Now, this is King Midas, the hoarder of money. Now, the meaning behind this card, you're either overspending or not spending at all or afraid to spend. So you're keeping your cards, your money very, very close here. Just be careful with your fears because fears block us from receiving more money. So keep your positive thoughts elevated. You're also keeping people at an arm's length. You're not revealing too much. You're not revealing what is your next move, which is a good thing, Libra. Um, I don't, sometimes it's good to keep things of a secret. It's good to, you know, you don't have to reveal everything to everybody. You're allowed to have secrets. You're allowed to be strategic. You're allowed to plan. There is a lot of planning here. You are definitely planning here. Again, this could be you thinking about walking away. You want to walk away. You want to just do something different here, but you're being very quiet about it, which is not a bad thing. I think that's a great thing that you're doing. However, though, just keep your positive thoughts elevated here. You want to attract more, better things, better situations, better people, and of course, more money. In the near future, we also have here the Eight of Swords here. Now, Libra, now you are an air sign. Air signs, we are very up in our heads. This is a mental card. You feel that this is it. I can't move. This, this is the mental imprisonment card. You feel you can't move forward. You feel like you can't do anything. No, Libra. This person can easily take their blindfold off and see the light. Because this person is holding the light. You always have been holding the light and the power to do anything. So again, like I said before, with the four of pentacles, keep your thoughts very elevated. Don't listen too much to the ego. Now, you're going to move away from this because this is, again, mental, thinking that I can't do it. I can't, I'm, it's impossible. No, you can definitely move on from this, Libra. With your point of view, you also have here the devil here. Now, again, you're overthinking too much here. This is a card of extremes. You may be, you probably have high anxieties, high stress, maybe overeating, over drinking, overdoing something of too much here. Okay. Libra, this is the best time. And this is, again, this is highly linked to the Queen of Cups here. Start to look after yourself. Don't listen to the negative thoughts. Because you want to start thinking like the Ten of Pentacles. Walking away from situations that no longer serve you. Moving to the sun, bliss, happiness. That's what you want. So watch your thoughts, Libra. In your environment, we also have here, okay, the Four of Cups here. This is boredom. You're not inspired. Everything is just a routine. Everything is boring. You don't feel that fire in your stomach. The good thing news about this Libra, that the universe is going to present you with a cup, an opportunity to get you out of this mood. This is not going to last long. No way. Something will be presented to you, but I need you to have your eyes and ears open because I don't want you to miss out on this. Check your emails, check your spam. How about this? Even contact people that you haven't heard from in a while. Start up a conversation. Start making a bit of noise. Something is definitely going to be presented to you, Libra. Hopes, wishes, and actions. Okay, we do have here the five of pen pentacles here. Now, 
now is a good time. You want to start, you, what you want, Libra, you want your money situation to change because money is being hemorrhaged somewhere. You probably have a lot of expenses to pay. You probably have a lot of, again, you probably have a family, a mortgage, rent, and you need, there's no money left to save. That's why you also have here the 10 of pentacles. You're thinking long term. You're thinking, I want to have that strong foundation in case something happens. Now's the best time to plan, budget, be disciplined, structure your money. How can you make your money work for you, Libra? Because the scales at the moment are not balanced here. Check everything. Check where every penny goes. Look at everything because I'm not picking up this is uh, related to a relationship because this is also the rejection card. I'm picking up here. This is something highly to do with money here. You want to save. However, though, money is going towards expenses. It's going towards family, maybe children, extended family. This is the best time to start planning now, Libra. The outcome we also have here, the nine of wands here. This is the winded soldier. Now, the winded soldier is tired. I understand that you're probably tired. You're probably over it. Yes. However, the message here is to not give up. Libra, I need you to dust yourself off and get ready to face another tomorrow and the tomorrow after that. And the message here, never give up. Do not give up. If you give up, you will regret it. That is literally the message here, Libra. You are working hard towards something. Absolutely. There's a lot of mental thoughts here. You, you're really in your head. You've got the, the extremes, but there is something. You've got the four of cups here. There's some opportunity is going to be presented to you. And we need to start being more structured and disciplined with our money. Okay. But let's get some confirmation cards here, Libra. Okay, what else does Libra need to know? What are the extra messages for the month of June 2023? Come on, Libra. Shuffle, shuffle. Okay, let's cut the cards. Beautiful. Now, what did you have for? Let's have a look. Move these up a bit. Okay. For the current situation, yes. I did say that you needed to stand up for yourself. Start being more assertive. That's also been confirmed with the Ten of Wands here. Okay. So you do have a lot of responsibilities. You have a lot of, uh, you have the weight of the world on your shoulders, Libra. A lot of responsibilities. What's going to happen? It's good. It's it's a good time now to start asking for help so you can drop these wands. Learn to say no. Learn to say, I need help here because you do have a lot on. You've got a lot on here, Libra. And this is why, again, this is highly linked to the Queen of Cups to start looking after yourself. You don't have to do everything, Libra, because what, what I would like to see for you to drop these wands, start dropping these responsibilities so you can move move on from this. I'm going to pull out another confirmation card. We have here the Knight of Pentacles here. This is again an offer, a promotion, a change coming your way. This is again, um, keep your eyes and ears open because some offer is definitely coming your way here. A big offer that's linked towards money here. So hopefully with this offer, now this is the slowest moving night here. Anything that does get presented to you, you need to read. You need to do your due diligence and read what is it that they want to provide you. But this is highly linked to money here. Now, let's look at your challenges. We do have here the Ten of Swords here. Now, the Ten of Swords, this is betrayal. This is endings. You feel a little bit betrayed. You feel um, people have deceited you also. The good thing about the Ten of Swords here that it will roll over to the Ace of Swords, which is a brand new beginning. So I feel like there was some offer that was presented to you, but it was a dud offer. It was sketchy. It wasn't what you expected. And you do feel a little bit betrayed 
from this offer, what you were presented with. Um, definitely, this is the lowest point that you can get to, Libra. This is, yeah. I'm going to pull out another card. I feel like this different, definitely came from a divine feminine, a woman, perhaps. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like she presented you an offer, but no, it didn't go how you planned it was going to go. No, not what you expected. So if this has not happened yet, definitely keep your eyes and eye, eyes and ears open. If an offer does come to you, look at everything. Ask questions, negotiate, challenge. You did get the assertive card. Challenge people. Challenge everything that is presented to you, Libra. Don't just sit back. No, definitely use your voice here. The past has been confirmed with, okay, the Eight of Pentacles here. Again, with the um, Eight of Cups here, you were definitely in a job that was not inspiring you. Because this is literally you working very, very hard. You're working hard. There is money, absolutely, but you're walking away from it. It doesn't inspire you anymore. It doesn't challenge you anymore. It doesn't bring you that ultimate passion like it used to in the past. So if this hasn't happened yet, <clears throat> you will. I feel like you're going to be moving away from this job here. Because this is related to a job where you're getting paid, you're working, you're sacrificing the hours, but... You're, you're walking away from it. You're walking towards the sun. There's something better for you, Libra. Okay, the foundation of your reading has been confirmed with the three of cups here. This is also saving up money, but also celebrating. You're celebrating, again, there could be parties, engagements, ceremonies. Attend, Libra, because you have a reason to celebrate, a reason to smile, and it's good to be you. You're being very, very smart with your money. You're thinking long term. You're thinking, no, I can change this. Whatever's happened here with this offer, I'm going to take the action and work with my own money. You're being more structured and disciplined here. And again, happy home life, friends and family celebrating what you have achieved. Your thoughts has also been confirmed with the six of pentacles here. Okay, definitely expect equal pay more money. You're being very strategic here. With your talents, you're going to get paid a lot more. It's either equal or even a little bit more because you can see the scales, how they're tipping. This is means you're getting paid for what you are owed. You're being more happy here. You're, being, you're feeling that passion now. You're feeling that, okay, yes, now this is working. Because again, you're being strategic here, you're keeping your money close and you're going to be doing something with your money where you're going to be paid a lot more compared to here. This is good. This is a huge shift here from walking away, saving up your money because this is, what, this is the foundation. You want to save up your money and move towards something that really inspires you. In the near future, we also have here, yeah, wow, the Emperor. I love this card. Absolutely love it. Yep, you're going to be more of a boss energy. You're going to move away from this Eight of Swords and you're going to move to more a boss energy, a leader. People are going to be looking up to you. Now, the Emperor is very structured. The Emperor is very disciplined with money. This is literally all the kings wrapped up in one. Now, regardless of gender, again, if you're thinking of starting that business, starting that bigger role, that leadership role, you will do it. Absolutely. Regardless if it's a side hustle, if it's um, an online business, doing something that with a bigger audience, you will do it. Absolutely. Yes. I love this. The energy is shifting. Like there's definitely some sort of shifty in the challenges. There's some sort of offer here that you're going to walk away from, but you're going to be more of this boss energy. I love seeing this Libra. With your point of view, okay, yes, we do have the Six of Cups. You are thinking too much about the past. You're thinking when it was better times. You're thinking, it's not going to get any better than this. There's nothing better for the future or the present. No. So you're currently, your thoughts are in the past. Your th you're just too much in the past, Libra. And that's the thing. The past should be left behind. That's where it belongs. Now, don't be surprised if someone from your past does contact you. Could be a friend, could be an old boyfriend or girlfriend, or someone that's connected in a past life. I would definitely hear this person now. 
hear what they need to say be open to it don't be aggressive just hear them out listen what they are saying this card is also telling you to start having more fun go out enjoy the little things in life go out in nature go for a walk see someone that you haven't seen in a while that you want to say hello to but definitely start having more fun your environment has also been confirmed with the two of swords okay you're a little bit fearful about taking action you're procrastinating because of the fear of the unknown if you just remove the blindfolds you will make a decision so what's happening here with the four of cups you may be you will be presented with an offer but you don't know what to do you don't know whether to take it or not should i shouldn't i what should i do what if this happens what if that happens it's an endless story here what could happen again i'm going to take out another card the eight of swords you you have a fear about taking this particular action you fear what could go wrong what could happen again another mental card here again just removing your blindfolds um libra you can see you can see further i'm going to take out even another card you've got the four of swords do yourself a favor don't be impulsive take some time out rest don't you don't have to make a quick decision take some time out to rest recharge your batteries think things through and you'll be able to make a logical decision with this um four of cups here so definitely yeah definitely take your time but something is going to be presented to you some offer will come definitely rest but don't be so much in your head okay try not to listen too much with the ego because the ego immobilizes us it doesn't help us to move forward now with your hopes wishes and actions again like i said juggling money we have the seven of wands here start being assertive with your money start to take control of your money because i feel like people are just taking your money people are just coming to you because you have money and you have no idea where it's going start to be more structured because this again this is highly linked to the emperor be more structured be disciplined check financial statements check everything where every penny is going libra okay i might i'm going to take out another card we also have the page of cups here this is all about messages now now i feel like this could be a message closely linked with an apology also you could be receiving an apology from a certain individual perhaps yeah this could also be the start of a relationship if you are single yep there could be someone that's watching you that could um, reach out to you through social media and ask you out okay um but i feel like you are going to also get messages towards your money too there's some sort of communication about your money i feel like you're going to be doing your own research you're going to be just yeah you're going to be doing something a little bit more i'm going to take out another card with two of pentacles see at the moment yeah you are juggling your money you're trying to pay for everything all your expenses you're trying to just stay afloat mm -mm, no no this is going to be temporary because remember the foundation you did have the ten of pentacles here you want to ch start changing your money here you want to save you want to have money in the money in the bank or make have money work for you libra so yes at the moment yes your hopes and wishes you wish you had more because i feel like your money is just going towards expenses it's going towards something and you're just literally staying afloat here but again this is going to be temporary because you also have the six of swords you are going to move to calmer waters again when i say move to calmer waters it means you're going to take action towards your money you're going to find a way to save money and be more calmer so go into more calmer waters this is what's going to happen with your money you're good you're just going to make a shift here all because you took the action and you are more assertive with your money here libra outcome we also have here the seven of pentacles excellent now you know that saying money doesn't grow on tree for you it will libra because of your hard work money is going to grow for you because you took action you became more disciplined and you became more structured this is why you also have the wounded soldier don't give up libra 
because your money, your hard work is going to pay off. You're going to see now there's going to be a stronger foundation, money saved up, money to have at least. I'm going to take um, another card. You have the nine of pentacles. Excellent outcome. This person is full of money. They have the finances to the point that they can buy something without looking at the price tag. This is the independence card. You're going to feel much more independent, more secure, a stronger foundation and a firm, a much firmer foundation and full of abundance. So Libra, your big message here for the month of June is to structure your money. Walk away from things that no longer serve you. Be assertive with your money. Challenge stuff. Negotiate. Use your voice because you will need to. Now I'm going to take out purpose cards. Okay, first card we have family. Loving your family, oh sorry, loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. You like having, for example, peace. You like having um, a happy home life. You like things to be calm. Things may be a little bit challenging at the moment because perhaps you do have a family and you're just trying to stay afloat. That will pass, Libra. You will have that happy, calm um, family home and you're going to be able to lower your shoulders and be able to rest as long as you are disciplined and structured just like the emperor here second card we have speaker your life purpose involves your skills of oration fantastic do not be surprised libra if the wisdom that you have you use that to teach others from your life experience, your skills. So I feel like you're going to be considering in the future to reach a more global audience. This could be through YouTube, Zoom, uh, a, a conference, a webinar, anything. You do have the gift of the gap and people are going to be listening to you. They're going to really take in your words because you do have a voice that just needs to be used. And lastly, we also have crystals. Your connection to crystals and gemstone is a channel for healing and energy. Now, regardless if you are, in, if you are into crystals or not, be curious. Start to get involved with crystals. For example, I definitely know that if you want healing with love, you can definitely use the... Um, the, the pink stone, you can use all of that stuff. You can use the amethyst. Be a little bit curious about crystals because crystals do help you to heal. They help to remove blocks. They help to remove envy from people, jealous people. So get involved with crystals, definitely, because they are another source to help you move forward, to help you become even better. So that's it for you, Libra. Libra, I want to Wish you the best of luck for the month of June. I hope it goes fantastic for you. I absolutely loved your reading. It was beautiful. I want to thank you again for joining me and I'll see you at the next reading. Bye for now.